Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. Got a super quick video today, guys, going over another one of my favorite pieces of water testing equipment. Alright, so the other day I put out a video going over the uh, Taylor Speed Stirrer and it got a fairly uh, good response. A lot of people weren't aware of it or where to buy it from and the uh, link uh, helped a lot of people out. So I was pretty chuffed with that video and I figured um, what other bits of equipment do I use that uh, maybe a lot of people aren't aware of or um, haven't seen or could be of use to people. And um, I had a look in my uh, kit and came across my adjustable pipettes. Now, um, these are another bit of gear that I take fairly for granted. They're um, really, really handy for uh, dosing um, precise amounts of chemicals into your tank if you're doing some sort of amino or a food or a, um, a trace element or if you're doing an algae treatment, things are like that where you need to work out a precise amount of liquid and you need to be able to repeat that each day. And of course, when you're testing water, if um, you've ever tried to pull out exactly three mil of water into your syringe, into your vial, so you get um, accurate results, or um, if you're doing tests like the Red Sea Pro that uses 16 mil of water, and you've got to have a couple of goes of your syringe, it could be a real pain in the um, rear. These adjustable pipettes are um, absolute uh, amazing little bits of gear. In fact, they're quite basic. They're just a um, basically uh, they're a syringe that you can control the amount of travel by adjusting these uh, screws in or out here, and they then show you on the uh, display there, or it's an analog display, I guess. Um, how much fluid that's going to be. Basically then, so you dial in, if I wanted to do, uh, let's see, eight mil of water, I dial it in until I see eight mil of water. Then I press the pipette down until I feel the first stop. You can press past that, right? So I'm going to see if I can get that on camera. You press down until the first stop, and then you can see you can press further. You just, for the collection of the fluids, you want to press down until you see that first stop. Put it into your liquid that you're pulling up, release the button, that'll bring the fluid into this uh, long syringe here, then go over to wherever you want to expel the liquid and press that all the way down. These little things, they're not the cheapest thing on the market, they go at about $50 each. I do have two, I've got the uh, 0.1 to 1 milliliter um, syringe, so obviously a lot smaller that one, it can do very precise amounts there. That one I hardly ever use, so I'd probably recommend not buying that one. Whereas this one here is a two to 10 milliliter uh, adjustable pipette, I use this thing daily, it's amazing. I use it just to get water samples. I use it um, to test uh, salinity, to test my elk, my phosphates, my nitrates, to dose um, continual range, fauna marine range. Um, I, I use it for an awful lot of things. Um, the other thing is if you're worried about um, uh, getting different uh, uh, waters from one tank to another tank, you do also have this little quick eject button, which when you press that, <laughs> that tip comes off and you can have multiple tips for different uh, tanks. You can also get uh, different colored caps. So if you don't want to have to check the um, dial or you want to keep a different colored cap per each tank, you can uh, take these caps off, put a different colored one on, it makes it for quick reference. They've got this nifty little hook here which just hangs on, on any sort of workbench, you probably can't see that. But um, they're just really simple bits of gear, obviously fairly common in the, um, in the science field and in chemistry and things like that. But uh, you don't see them a lot in aquarium uses. And um, personally, I think they're a really good little uh, bit of gear. I've popped a link um, down to an eBay seller in my description. Um, I get absolutely no kickback on that at all. I don't know the seller. It's not an affiliate link. But uh, if you're interested in purchasing them, you can either have a look at that link or search eBay or Google, Google not gaggle, Google for adjustable pipette. That's about all I've got time for today, guys. I'll try to get these videos coming out daily for you for everyone else that's stuck at home like I am. If you've enjoyed them, give them a thumbs up. If you haven't already, be sure to click that subscribe button. And until uh, next time, guys, stay safe and keep reefing.